is the game of the season. The game that will blow your mind. <laughs> now guys, this is the game. This is the game between Adolf Hitler and Vladimir Stalin. Now, Hitler plays black while Stalin plays white. Just know that. Now, the game starts with the E4, E6, which is the St. George defense. And later transposes into, you know, the French defense, which has the variation of the St. George defense. Now, Hitler literally starts the attack. He attacks the center, Stalin captures, he captures back with his bishop, making his bishop very, very active. Now, just watch. Hitler literally, ca um, Stalin castles, Hitler now brings his second bishop into the game. Trying to make, you know what, Adolf Hitler, I won't say he was literally a good chess player, but just watch how the way his chess games are literally organized. Now look, Stalin brings his queen, to, you know, to literally join the attack and Hitler plays this. Literally speaking, this queen literally has no use of, no use because attacking nothing, it, the double up is literally attacking nothing, the queen is guarding, the king is guarding. That move was literally, let me say, a mistake. <laughs> let me just say it like that. So the game continues and Sterling at this moment tries to open up the flanks, you understand? Open up the A file, trying to make that file, anything called A, make it free. Now Hitler captures, Sterling does not capture back with the rook but literally plays his knight there, trying to put more pressure on the pawn. Now Hitler saying this, pushes his pawn forward, you know, trying to recapture like trying making Stalin to you know capture the pawn or but instead Stalin could have literally played this good move by putting more pressure on the queen and the bishop but Stalin does not play this and instead he goes back and Stalin does not play this Stalin goes back and captures the pawn he captures the pawn Stalin captures the pawn but why why would he capture the pawn when he had such a good move which could literally win the bishop or win the pawn for free? Well, it's chess. Whenever you play chess, you have this tension, but that's what chess players do need. You need the time to calculate, you know, you need to just calm down. I know it's a chess game, time, everything, the tension, but we also all need to calm down when we are playing chess. Now the game continues. Hitler literally putting the screen out to put more pressure on the pawn and the but still found a way to you know protect both of them and the game continued. Now after this after this capture, Sterling literally starts his ultimate attack here. Now he brings his knight here. Adolf Hitler saw this and literally retreats his queen. Knowing that there is fire on the mountain at home because chess game is all about your king. If you can't protect your king, you have literally lost the game. Now Sterling brings his queen into the action like the war is about to start just watch how this war is about to start Hitler saw this about like oh my, this queen what is she doing here let me just push her out he pushes his queen out he push, the queen goes back he pushes the pawn again the queen moves up knowing that <laughs> Sterling seeing this I mean Hitler seeing this knows that oh God, I'm literally on fire like my home is on fire now he plays this mistake. Just watch the mistake Adolf Hitler made. He plays this. Adolf Hitler plays this. And now, <laughs> the move that literally changed the game was captured. Like, he sacrifices the knights. Stalin sacrifices the knights. Then, <laughs> Russian chess players are literally on fire. Anytime I play the Russian chess players, I do have this chill because there's this principle towards their game. I love Russian chess players. I would actually play a Russian chess player real life and I would try to stream the game for you to watch. Now, the king captures because the knight was literally fucking the queen and the, and the rook. So the king has no choice to capture. That's watch. And at this moment, the bishop captured. Now, his problem started from here. Bishop captured, giving a check. The bishop, the king moved, gave another check again. The king had to move, gave another check again. The king had to move, gave another check again. Well, this was not literally the check. Gave another check here. <laughs> the king had to move, and at this moment, Adolf Hitler literally resigns. You know why? Because after that move, this is the meeting one. This is the 
mate in one Hitler saw this and literally resigns. Yeah, he should literally resign because what gave him the audacity of killing six million Jews just for nothing? You literally kill six million Jews. I expect yourself to win a chess game. No, that's not you don't, can't eat your cake and have it. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. And I'm sorry you guys can't couldn't find those arrows of analyzing. I'm literally using my phone to analyze the game. So guys, when I get monetized, I'll get a system, I'll get a laptop and start analyzing fully. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.